Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to The Bold and the Beautiful spoilers, Thomas Forrester and Hope Logan's tumultuous relationship will continue to be an issue. There have been concerns that Hope may be leading Thomas on and reigniting his obsession with her if she is not careful. Hope, on the other hand, appears to be infatuated with Thomas on some level, or at the very least, she is fixated on the notion that he loves her and only her. Just when it appears that Hope may listen to the doubters and push Thomas away, she becomes engrossed in his entire dedication rhetoric and becomes all turned on again. In other words, when it comes to the passionate encounters they enjoy sharing, Hope and Thomas show no indications of slowing down. Because Thomas temporarily distracted Hope from the Sheila Carter and Deacon Sharp conflict, the bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate that she may return the favor. When Thomas learns of Eric Forrester's poor health, he may wish to forget about his own problems for a while. Hope might surely assist with that, so another passionate hookup is possible. If that's the case, Steffi Forrester may come home after Eric's medical reveal to find Thomas blazing with hope at work. In the heat of the moment, Thomas and Hope may easily forget to lock the door, allowing Steffi to walk in on them doing so. Steffi might potentially find Hope and Thomas buttoning up afterward, as Brooke Logan did recently, but it's always more entertaining when a B and B character catches another passionate couple in the act. In this situation, Steffi may derail Thomas and Hope's passionate encounter, which may lead to her rage over this blossoming romance and the harm it may cause. Steffi may be concerned that Hope would grow tired of Thomas and go on to someone else, allowing her brother to spiral after his dream lady slips through his fingers. Regardless, Steffi will return to the screen during the week of October 30 November 3, so stay tuned for updates on the horrible news that will await her in Los Angeles. CDL is the place to be for thrilling adventures. Ridge Forrester worked on further fashion show preparations and concerned about what it would do to Eric Forrester if he lost the competition, according to the bold and the beautiful spoilers for Wednesday, October. Ridge was happy that RJ Forrester was assisting Eric, but he told Brooke Logan that he was going to beat both of them up. Although Eric wanted to return and run the company, Ridge claimed that it didn't work that way now that he was in charge. Instead, Ridge felt Eric should be unwinding and embracing his life. Brooke was impatient for the competition to end and hoped that in the midst of it all, Ridge would remember how much he loved Eric. Ridge adored Eric, but he pretended as if this grand final was worthless, expecting Eric to release a similar collection in a few years because he wasn't going anywhere. Donna Logan became agitated at the Forrester estate due to the lack of answers regarding Eric's condition. Dr. Colin Colby examined Eric's heart and cautioned him that his bouts of coughing up blood were dangerous. Eric refused to abandon his heritage line or the fashion competition, but Dr. Colby was concerned about the increased strain. Donna agreed that Eric should back down from his challenge, but Eric became enraged and yelled that nothing, not even his doctor, could stop him. Donna expressed her dissatisfaction with the lack of a diagnosis and urged that they seek a second opinion. Dr. Colby persisted on understanding after Donna apologized for overstepping because we do anything for the people we care about. He left after Dr. Colby indicated he'd be in touch with further information soon. Eric told Donna that he wasn't upset with her for calling Dr. Colby, but that he had to compete. After speaking about his drive to create beauty, Eric told Donna that it was part of who he was as a man and an artist. When Donna declared that she was with Eric 100%, he wondered whether it meant till the end and made her repeat it back to him. Eric and Donna kissed before softly staring into one another's eyes. Luna Nozawa gave RJ a honeydew drink and thanked him once more for defending her against Lee Finnegan in the Forrester Creations Design Office. RJ also thanked Luna for allowing him to tell her about Eric's health. Luna told RJ that the secret was safe because she didn't say anything. 
Later, RG battled with the idea that he couldn't tell Ridge about Eric's health, so Luna gave encouragement and drew him into an embrace. On Wednesday's B&B &B program, John Finn Finnegan pressed Lee for information about the feud between her and Poppy Nozawa, and Lee acknowledged that her sister nearly ruined her career. Lai revealed that she obtained Poppy a job at the hospital gift store and sought to provide her with consistent employment. Poppy slept with the chief surgeon until his wife discovered it, and Lai paid the price. Lai maintained that she was to blame because she had gotten Poppy the job in the first place. It wasn't long before Lai started losing shifts and had to transfer to another hospital entirely. After saying she wouldn't allow Poppy and Luna ruin her life again, Lee added that she didn't want them to ruin Finn's either. Lai moaned about Poppy leading such a carefree and easy life, with no respect for their parents or how her sister had suffered. Finn sat there, puzzled, as Lee complained about how unfair it was. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, there may be more to the story, so stay tuned to find out if Lai is hiding a far worse secret. CDL is the place to go if you want to have a good time. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Jacqueline Messinswood has already filmed new scenes, indicating that her comeback is imminent. Steffi will be back in action soon, so let's speak about what's in store. Although the precise air date has yet to be confirmed, recent B and B spoilers hint that Jacqueline Messinswood will return somewhere between October 30 and November 1. That's fantastic news for Steffi Forrester fans who have been longing for her to return to the screen. Wood was understandably on maternity leave, but the program hasn't been the same without her. Sophia Paris McKinley has also returned to the set, so Steffi's kid will be appearing in new sequences as well. Kelly will need to catch up with Liam Spencer and all of her other loved ones. Of course, B and B aficionados will recall that Steffi fled Los Angeles due to Shayla Carter and the risk she represents. Steffi traveled to Europe with Kelly and Hayes Forrester Finnegan in the hopes of keeping them all safe. John Finn Finnegan, on the other hand, is desperate to prove to Steffi that he is capable of safeguarding his family. Steffi is banking on Finn to eliminate Shayla as a threat but that is clearly not going to happen by the time her next appearance airs. If Steffi's first air date involves her returning to Los Angeles, there must be a compelling reason to risk more Shayla turmoil. This could be related to Eric Forrester's poor health, especially given the timing of everything. Eric is stressed out and working himself to exhaustion, so the fashion challenge may be too much for him. It's easy to picture Eric collapsing and being rushed to the hospital after the coacher competition. Regardless, Eric's medical situation will be revealed soon, so Steffi may fly home to assist the Forrester family in rallying around her grandfather. Steffi's love triangle with Finn and Liam Spencer should be back in full gear shortly, so fans should brace themselves. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Jacqueline Messins Wood will make a big comeback as Steffi Forrester, so we'll keep you updated as more information becomes available. CTL will have additional hot items. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.